The number seven resonates deeply within Jewish tradition, imbued with profound symbolic meaning. From the seven days of creation to the seven branches of the menorah, this number signifies completeness and divine perfection. It represents the totality of God's creation and the fullness of his presence. Understanding the importance of this numerical symbol unlocks a deeper understanding of its use in biblical literature, particularly in the enigmatic book of Revelation. The number seven appears frequently throughout the Hebrew Bible, often in connection with sacred rituals, covenants, and divine pronouncements. The seven days of creation establish a rhythm of work and rest that echoes through the Jewish calendar, culminating in the Sabbath, the seventh day of rest. This cycle underscores the importance of seven as a symbol of completion and fulfillment. Moreover, the seven branches of the menorah, an ancient symbol of Judaism, represent the seven lamps that illuminated the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. This sacred candelabrum, often associated with the presence of God, further reinforces the significance of seven as a symbol of divine light, guidance, and spiritual illumination. Therefore, when the number seven appears in religious texts like Revelation, it is crucial to recognize its rich symbolic background. This understanding provides a framework for interpreting the significance of the seven spirits, a mysterious phrase that appears several times throughout this apocalyptic book. The Book of Revelation, the final book of the Christian New Testament, is a complex and often challenging text replete with vivid imagery and symbolic language. Among its many enigmatic figures are the seven spirits, a phrase that appears several times throughout the book, leaving readers to ponder its meaning. The seven spirits are first introduced in Revelation chapter 1 verse 4, where they are mentioned alongside God the Father and Jesus Christ. The text reads, John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne. This introductory verse establishes the seven spirits as significant entities in the heavenly realm, positioned near the throne of God. The seven spirits are mentioned again in Revelation chapter 3 verse 1, and to the angel of the church in Sardis write, the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Here the text links the seven spirits directly to Christ, describing them as the seven spirits of God. This connection suggests a close relationship between the seven spirits and the divine power and authority of both God the Father and Jesus Christ. The repeated mention of the seven spirits in Revelation highlights their importance in the unfolding drama of this apocalyptic text. Understanding their nature and function is crucial to unraveling the rich tapestry of symbolism woven throughout the book. Scholars and theologians have proposed several interpretations of the seven spirits, drawing upon Jewish scriptural traditions and early Christian understanding. One prominent interpretation of the seven spirits identifies them with the Holy Spirit, a central figure in Christian theology. Proponents of this view argue that the number seven, representing completeness and perfection, points to the fullness of the Holy Spirit's presence and power. They suggest that the seven spirits represent the manifold aspects or manifestations of the Holy Spirit's work in the world. This interpretation finds support in the biblical understanding of the Holy Spirit as the source of spiritual gifts, wisdom and guidance. In Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2, a passage often cited in connection with the seven spirits, the prophet describes the coming Messiah as being anointed with the Spirit of the Lord, followed by a list of seven spiritual gifts, wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, the fear of the Lord, and delight in the fear of the Lord. Furthermore, the book of Acts describes the Holy Spirit descending upon the disciples at Pentecost, empowering them to spread the Christian message. This event is often seen as a fulfillment of the promise of the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament and a demonstration of its power to equip and guide believers. Therefore, the interpretation of the seven spirits as the Holy Spirit aligns with the biblical understanding of the Holy Spirit's role in empowering and guiding God's people. The number seven in this context emphasizes the completeness and perfection of the Holy Spirit's presence and work in the world. Another interpretation of the seven spirits views them as angelic beings, specifically a group of high-ranking angels who serve in the heavenly court. This understanding draws upon Jewish angelology, which includes a hierarchy of angels with specific roles and responsibilities. In this context, the seven spirits could be seen as powerful intercessors who carry out God's will and minister to his people. Support for this interpretation can be found in the Book of Tobit, a Jewish text included in the Catholic and Orthodox Biblical canons. In Tobit chapter 12, verse 15, 
The angel Raphael reveals himself as one of the seven angels who stand ready and enter before the glory of the Lord. This passage suggests the existence of a group of seven angels who hold a special position in heaven standing before God's throne. Furthermore, the book of Revelation itself is filled with angelic beings who play various roles in the unfolding drama. Angels sound trumpets, pour out bowls of wrath and deliver messages from God. Therefore, it is plausible that the seven spirits mentioned alongside these other angelic figures are also part of the heavenly host. The interpretation of the seven spirits as angelic beings aligns with the Jewish understanding of a hierarchical angelic realm and the prominent role of angels in apocalyptic literature. It suggests that these seven spirits are powerful intermediaries between God and humanity carrying out his will and revealing his plans. Section 5, Echoes of Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord. The description of the seven spirits in Revelation has clear connections to Isaiah 11 verse 2, a passage that speaks of the Spirit of the Lord resting upon the coming Messiah. Isaiah writes, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. This verse lists seven distinct manifestations of the Spirit which some scholars believe correspond to the seven spirits mentioned in Revelation. The parallel between these two passages is striking, particularly in the use of the number seven to describe the Spirit's attributes. This connection has led some interpreters to view the seven spirits as a direct reference to the sevenfold spirit described in Isaiah, suggesting a continuity between the Old and New Testament understandings of God's spirit. However, different translations of Isaiah 11 verse 2 present a slight variation in the way the spirit is described. Some translations, such as the King James Version, use the phrase Spirit of the Lord repeatedly, while others, like the New Revised Standard Version, use the singular spirit followed by a list of seven attributes. This variation has led to different interpretations of the passage and its relationship to the seven spirits in Revelation. Despite these variations, the connection between Isaiah 11 verse 2 and the seven spirits in Revelation remains significant. Both passages highlight the importance of the spirit in carrying out God's purposes and empowering his people. Whether understood as seven distinct spirits or seven manifestations of the one spirit, this connection underscores the continuity of God's work throughout history. Section 6, The Seven Spirits in First Enoch. The concept of seven archangels, often associated with the seven spirits of Revelation, finds further development in non-canonical Jewish texts like First Enoch. This ancient apocalyptic work attributed to the patriarch Enoch expands upon the biblical portrayal of angels and their roles in the divine realm. While not considered part of the Hebrew Bible by most Jewish and Christian traditions, First Enoch provides valuable insights into Jewish angelology and its influence on early Christian thought. In First Enoch chapter 20 verses 1 to 7, the author lists the names of seven angels who stand before the Lord, Uriel, Raphael, Ragel, Michael, Sarakel, Gabriel, and Remiel. These angels are described as holy angels who watch and are tasked with specific duties such as overseeing the elements, interceding for humanity and executing judgment. The presence of seven named angels in First Enoch, particularly their designation as watchers, has led some scholars to draw a connection between these figures and the seven spirits of Revelation. The shared number and the emphasis on their role as heavenly observers suggest a possible link between these two groups of celestial beings. While First Enoch is not considered canonical as scripture, it reflects a rich tradition of Jewish angelology that influenced early Christian writers, including the author of Revelation. Therefore, understanding the concept of seven archangels in First Enoch provides valuable context for interpreting the symbolism of the seven spirits and their role in the apocalyptic vision. Section 7, The Seven Archangels. The concept of seven archangels, high-ranking angels who serve as intermediaries between God and humanity, developed further in Jewish and Christian tradition. These seven archangels, often associated with the seven spirits of Revelation, became prominent figures in religious art, literature, and liturgy. Their names and roles vary depending on the source, but they consistently represent a group of powerful celestial beings who carry out God's will and protect his people. The names of the seven archangels most commonly associated with the seven spirits are Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Ragel, Sariel, and Remiel. Michael, often depicted as a warrior angel, is known for his strength and his role as the defender of God's people against evil.
Gabriel, known for his role as a messenger, announced the births of John the Baptist and Jesus Christ. Raphael, whose name means God heals, is associated with healing and protection. The other archangels, Uriel, Ragel, Sariel, and Ramiel, have various roles associated with guidance, justice, and divine mysteries. Uriel is often associated with light and knowledge, while Ragel is known for his role as a defender of justice. Sariel is sometimes associated with the moon and divine secrets, and Remiel is often depicted as a guide for souls in the afterlife. The concept of seven archangels, while not explicitly mentioned in the Bible, reflects a long tradition of Jewish and Christian angelology. It highlights the belief in a hierarchical angelic realm and the role of these powerful beings in mediating between God and humanity. The association of the seven archangels with the seven spirits of Revelation further emphasizes their importance as intermediaries who carry out God's will and reveal his plans. Section 8. Interpreting the Seven Spirits A Tapestry of Traditions Interpreting the identity and function of the seven spirits in Revelation requires navigating a tapestry of Jewish scriptural traditions and early Christian understanding. The various interpretations proposed by scholars and theologians reflect the rich symbolic language of the book and its roots in Jewish apocalyptic literature. The connection to Isaiah 11 verse 2 with its description of the sevenfold spirit resting upon the Messiah suggests a link between the seven spirits and the Holy Spirit. This interpretation emphasizes the completeness and perfection of the Spirit's presence and power in guiding and empowering God's people. The association with angelic beings, particularly the seven angels mentioned in Tobit 12 verse 15 and the seven archangels described in 1st Enoch, highlights the role of intermediaries between God and humanity. This interpretation emphasizes the seven spirits' role in carrying out God's will, ministering to his people and revealing his plans. Ultimately, the interpretation of the seven spirits remains open to discussion and debate. The rich symbolism of Revelation allows for multiple layers of meaning, and the lack of a definitive explanation within the text itself invites readers to engage with the text and its various interpretations. Section 9. The Importance of Context Understanding Early Christian Symbolism Understanding the historical and cultural context of early Christianity is crucial to interpreting the symbolism of the seven spirits in Revelation. Early Christians steeped in Jewish tradition and scripture drew upon familiar imagery and concepts to express their faith and make sense of their world. The number seven with its deep roots in Jewish tradition would have resonated strongly with early Christian readers. Its association with completeness, perfection and divine presence would have informed their understanding of the seven spirits and their significance in the apocalyptic vision. Furthermore, the concept of angels and their roles in the divine realm was prevalent in Jewish thought during the Second Temple period. Early Christians inherited this angelology, incorporating it into their own understanding of the spiritual world and God's interaction with humanity. Therefore, interpreting the seven spirits requires considering their symbolic meaning within the context of early Christian thought and its Jewish roots. By understanding the cultural and historical background of this period, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the rich tapestry of symbolism woven throughout the Book of Revelation. Section 10, Conclusion Unveiling the Mysteries The seven spirits of Revelation remain an enigma, their true nature shrouded in the symbolic language of this apocalyptic text. While their precise identity remains a matter of interpretation, exploring the various possibilities enriches our understanding of the book's message and its roots in Jewish tradition. Whether understood as manifestations of the Holy Spirit, powerful angelic beings, or symbolic representations of divine attributes, the seven spirits remind us of God's active presence in the world. They serve as a reminder of his power, his wisdom, and his unwavering commitment to his people. As we delve into the mysteries of Revelation, let us approach its symbolism with humility and a willingness to engage with its rich tapestry of meaning. By exploring the various interpretations and considering the historical and cultural context, we can gain a deeper appreciation for this complex and challenging book. The Seven Spirits, though enigmatic, offer a glimpse into the heavenly realm and the mysteries of God's plan for the world.